Hi, I'm Sam from Huawei Developers, and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. In this episode, I will show you how to integrate Huawei PushKit into your app. Huawei PushKit allows for message pushing from apps to mobile devices. By tapping a message displayed in the notification bar of the device, the user can open the corresponding app and view more details. Huawei PushKit is already available in over 200 countries and regions. It offers the capacity of sending 10 million messages per second from the server, delivering 99% of them, and providing real-time push reports, ultimately helping improve the DAU of your apps. So let's get started. To integrate Huawei PushKit, first you need to configure the development environment. To do this, open Android Studio, create an empty project, enter your app name and package name, and click Finish. Next, create a signing certificate for your app or choose an existing one. In this example, we're going to create a new certificate. Select the path for storing the certificate, which is a project directory, enter the certificate name, set the password and other information about the certificate, and click OK. Check Remember Passwords before you click Next. Then select Debug, check V2, and click Finish. To facilitate packaging, we're going to add the signing certificate configuration in the Build Gradle file. Change the signing configurations, including the key, password, and certificate file for your app, and then click Sync Now. You have now created the project. Next, let's create an app in Huawei App Gallery Connect. First, visit the Huawei Developer Official website, go to Console, Huawei App Gallery, My Apps, and create an app by clicking the New button. Specify the app information and click Create. After completing the preceding steps, click the Develop tab. From the message that appears, select Manually Enter the Package Name and enter your package name, which must be the same one you used when creating a project. After checking that the package name is correct, click Save. Set the data storage location based on the target distribution areas of your app. Now, let's configure the SHA256 certificate fingerprint. To do so, open the command line tool and run the cd command to go to the project directory. Run key tool and find the SHA256 fingerprint from the result. Then copy the fingerprint to the App Gallery Connect website and save it. Next, you need to enable the Push API. Click the Settings icon and then Manage APIs. Here, we've already had the Push API enabled, so we can go straight ahead to enable the Push service. Click Push in the growing menu from the navigation pane. On the Push service page, click the Enable button. Then, go back to the Overview page. From here, download the App Gallery Connect configuration file and copy it to the App directory of your project. After you've done that, open the build Gradle file in the project directory. In this file, add the Huawei Maven repository address and the App Gallery Connect build plugin. And then open the build Gradle file in the app directory. In this file, add the App Gallery Connect plugin and dependencies. Whenever you change any of the Gradle files, the Sync Now button will appear, indicating that a sync is necessary. When it appears, be sure to click the button. After the sync is complete, you will find the push SDK in external libraries. So far, so good, right? Great. Let's continue with push service coding. Open the main activity Java file and add the get push token method provided by the push SDK. As the name indicates, the get push token method is used to obtain a push token. However, this method must be called outside of a UI thread. So here we are going to create a separate thread for it. After obtaining the push token, your app will send it to your server. To display the push token, you need to add a text view in the layout file. And to obtain the push token, you need to add a button in the text file as well. Let's go back to the main activity file, where you can define the text view and button variables, and then initialize them. Also, define an event listener for the button and call the get push token method in the event listener. Then, configure the method of displaying the push token in text view. For Emotion UI 10 and later versions, 
push token is directly returned by the get push token method. For versions earlier than Emotion UI 10, a push token is returned by the on new token method of the HMS message service class in addition to the get push token method. You need to create a service that extends the HMS message service class and overrides the on new token method. For data messages, you need to override the on message received method and process the messages yourself. Finally, declare the HMS message service class in the manifest file and click the run button. So there you have it. We have now completed the necessary coding. Let's test what we've been building. Click the run icon and you should see the app is running. Click the get push token button. Copy the push token and go to the operate tab in App Gallery Connect. Click push in the navigation pane and create a notification message. Then click the test effect button, paste the push token and click OK. The message is sent successfully. Swipe down from the notification bar and you can find the message that we just sent. Tap it and your app opens. Good job. You've integrated the Huawei push kit into your app. Well, that's it for today's episode. Please leave your questions in the comment area below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon.